Well, you know what? Our preach was heard as the Raptors win 87 to 76 over the Milwaukee Bucks. And guess who gets the start? Norman Powell. But JV does not start, so why is Damari Carroll still starting? He's, he's rough to watch. He's so rough to watch. But nonetheless, Norman Powell comes in, and he puts up a really, really good game. He puts up 12 points, 4 boards, 4 assists in 34 minutes. He also had a block, 3 of 7 shooting, which ain't bad. Um, and, you know, he knocked down all 3 of his shots. Were 3s. He was a perfect 3 of 3 from 3. And, oh, yeah, his defense on Chris Middleton was gorgeous. Chris Middleton only had 10 points, and he was 4 of 13 shooting for 30%. Um, I mean, that was fantastic. Watching him play and watching him be as aggressive he was and knocking down that big three late, that's just music to my ears. To see that happen, which makes no sense, music to my ears, seeing it anyways. You know, and it was also great seeing Kyle Lowry bounce back. He had 18 points, four boards, four assists, and was 8 of 17, 47%. Not bad. Also, DeMar DeRozan had a big night. 33 points, nine boards, five assists on really good shooting, 54%. It was 9 of 9 from the free throw line. The Raptors did their job defensively, and also a ton of credit for Yotas Valanciunas coming off the bench Rare for him, but he came out and he put up some solid work. You know, he was 5 of 5 shooting, 2 of 2 from the line. Just a dynamite player on the offensive end. 12 points, 5 boards. That was his line in 22 minutes. I was happy with this this team. I mean, offensively, would we like more points scored? Of course. But your defense was that good tonight, and they won you games. Only 19 points for both teams were scored in that first quarter. 22 for both teams were scored in the second quarter. 41-41 at the half. But then the Raptors start to pull away. Milwaukee only scores 17 points in the third, four, uh, 18 points in the fourth, where the Raptors shoot 23-23. and 23. This team, I was really happy about their defensive work tonight. They held a tennis, uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. To 0 of 7 from the field in the second half. And he only ended up with 14 points on the game. That is a really good thing. Like we've been saying, if you can find a way to contain that guy, you will find ways to win. That is what we saw this afternoon. I mean, Raptors only shot 41%. Yes, Milwaukee did shoot uh, 37%. And another thing, Raptors were 94% from the free throw line. 16 of 17 where Milwaukee was 61%, 11 of 18. Again, that's a big factor that really, really does, fa you know, it factors in. And um, I was, also the Raptors, again, like, like, we were saying how the defense was has been so good. And what we've been saying is good defense leads to good offense. The Raptors, well, the, the Bucks really, had 20 turnovers. That is because the Raptors' defense was, was was all over them, right? Forcing them to make mistakes. And when they were, the Raptors were capitalizing. And they were just doing really good things. I was Like I said, I've been really proud of Lowry, DeRozan, and Norman Powell uh, for tonight's game. They were, or this afternoon's game. They were really good. And the Raptors tied the series at two, regained home court advantage, and now head back to Toronto for game five as they need to continue their winning ways. They need to continue winning. I mean, great. I'm really happy about today's win. But we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. It is one game. It is one day. But I am proud of this team for what they did. They were down. They were hurt. They were criticized. They were ripped apart in the last game. They were playing Barney, for goodness sakes, in the warm-up. And they came out today and they said, no, no, no. We came third. You came sixth. This is why. And the Raptors defensively really dug in and won this game. I got to give a ton of credit to this team for, for battling the way they did. And finally, our preach was answered about Norman Powell 
and he comes in and does a fantastic job. And if he's not starting in Game 5, I am losing my mind. Because I think he's done plenty enough to be able to start. Whether it be over Carroll or whether it, whether it be over JV. If it works, it works. Now, I understand JV and Monroe, that's a matchup thing that the reason JV was on the bench. That's what Casey did say. And it seemed to work tonight, this afternoon. I, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to saying this afternoon. But you should say tonight because all, all the videos are at nighttime. But, um, again, really proud of this team. But we got to move on now, right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed this game, Hit that like button, I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below, what you guys think of this game? What you think of Norman Powell getting the start? JV coming off the bench? DeRozan, Lowry being able to shut, or pretty much shut down uh, Giannis and, and Chris Middleton, really. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys. Uh, let me start here. Tomorrow, Blue Jays edition, because I will be uploading the Jays video, the Jays game tonight. That video will be uploaded tomorrow morning, early afternoon-ish. That's the way it'll kind of be, all right? We'll also talk to you guys. Leafs edition tomorrow as they are looking to stay alive and continue their playoff run as they are back at home at the Air Canada Center, taking on the Capitals, looking to force a Game 7. And also, big game coming up for the Raptors as, as, as it is Game what Game 5 back at home. At the Air Canada Center, it's a Monday, 7 o'clock tip-off. Oh, I really want to see this team go up 3-2 and take a hold of this series. You know, I, I really do because the Raptors, I mean, this the, the Bucks have played well. They played a really good game, a really good series. But this Raptor club, in my eyes, is just that much better. We saw it tonight on, both, on, on the clutch end and the defensive floor, all right? So uh, hopefully we can see a 3-2 series lead for the Raptors. We'll talk to you guys Monday night. See ya.